I'm a nutritionist and nature lover and I just finished a three and a half month cycle tour from Scotland to Croatia. That means that for the last few months I have been living out of these beautiful bags here. I've been out in a lot of different conditions. There's been rain, there's been cold, there's been beautiful sunny days and I needed to pack for all of those things. I also need to pack things for my bike and my health and well-being and they all somehow fit into these beautiful bags. These two panniers, a tent, and a backpack. In today's video, I'm gonna go over what I packed. I hope that what I share with you today is helpful, but always remember that what you wanna pack is very dependent on you and the kind of trip you want to have. And if you're very excited about everything you're about to learn that I packed, don't be shy. Go ahead and like this video and hit subscribe right now. All right, friends, we've got a lot to get through, so we're gonna do this rapid fire. I will link to any specific products I mentioned below so you can have a look at them for yourself. Okay, let's get the ball rolling with camping equipment. My beautiful tent. If you watch my video on surviving a leaky tent in a rainstorm, you know I had an old tent that did not serve me so well, but I upgraded to this beauty. It is the MSR Elixir 2. It's big and beautiful. And after my old little tent that leaked on me, this thing feels like a palace. It's been very waterproof. Although it looks pretty big, it's actually not that heavy and it was more affordable than some of the lightweight options. Second thing required, camping mat. C to summit. Ultra light, SI, self-inflating. Although I'll be honest, I don't really have the patience to wait for self-inflating stuff, so I usually just inflate it myself. Sleeping bag, this one is in a compression sack to make it all nice and tiny so that it would fit better in my panniers. I got this compression bag on like Amazon and it holds my beautiful mech sleeping bag. <laughs> Friends, I love the sleeping bag so much. I just want to be in it all the time. I love it. I just love it so much. It kept me warm even on very, very cold nights. And I'm a wimp when it comes to the cold. Tarp, my new tent has a ground sheet, so this isn't technically necessary, but it was left over from my old tent that needed a ground sheet, and I still used it to like cover my bag sometimes and as an extra ground layer on really stormy days. Not necessary, but can be helpful. Camping stove, lighter. Camping stove. I would also always have a little propane tank, but on my last flight I had to give it away because can't fly with propane. Little side bonus tip is that countries seem to be very specific with what type of camping gas and connections they like to use. So before you go somewhere new, ask some people who have also cycled there or camped there and see what camping fuel and camping connectors are used because otherwise you might end up somewhere where you can't get camping fuel for your stove. And that's a pain. Mug for my coffee, Tupperware for storing leftovers. So you always have a meal for the next day. Batch cooking, my friends, batch cook. Even when you're on the road. Can opener, cutlery, very important. Sharp cooking knife. This one is kind of intense looking, but you know, I'm intense. I just cut my nail. Pan, lid, cooks all the things. Also, you can eat out of it. Two for one. Salt, this is just the nutritionist in me. Very important to get enough salt when you're cycling. Also important to get enough water. Let's move on to clothing. Running shoes. At one point I had clip-in bike shoes. I've never liked clip-in shoes. If you do, hats off to you, fully support you, but I have never liked them. So I ended up just going with running shoes. And then I had one less pair of shoes to bring. So winning. Flip-flops. Oh God, these are so dirty. Socks, ankle socks for hot days. Thick socks for cold days, uh, regular socks for regular days. You know, like when you get to your campsite or wherever you're staying and you don't want to be wearing your gross, sweaty socks, nice socks that you don't bike in. Sports bras, underwear. Side note on underwear. Getting ones that are seamless and moisture wicking, that's just something you probably want to invest in because it'll be a lot more comfortable for you. Now, biking is all about the layers. As it gets colder, you just keep layering up. Tank top, t-shirt, long sleeve, sweater, warm jacket, raincoat. So if it's a cold rainy day, you just wear all of the above or some combination of all of the above. A lot of all of the above. Okay, that was tops. Let's do bottoms. Bike shorts are key. Nice little padded bum. I brought one pair of shorts and one pair of capris and then one pair of leggings. 
both for just casual hiking, but also on cold days I would wear these and then I would wear my bike shorts over top. Not everybody likes the bike capris, some people prefer bike shorts, but I'm a big fan of the capris. Especially if you're going to be in colder areas, they're a nice go-between. And then of course, rain pants. Full body protection. Then accessories, waterproof booties to go over your shoes when it's raining, warm waterproof bike gloves. They have little hand grips. Those are for cold days, but then most days, just regular biking gloves. Warm hat, getting a nice thin one that fits comfortably under your helmet is key. And a buff. Buffs are magical. You can wear them around your neck on a medium cold day. You can pull them right up on a really cold day and pair them with your hat. Or also, you can wear them like this for a little ear warmth and head breathability. Really the name of the game in packing is, like I said, one, layers, and two, multiple uses. And a good old fashioned hat for them sunny days. Or for when you wanna look cool. How you doing? Okay, those are all our sporty clothes. Now we need our kind of normal clothes. A pair of shorts to walk around, t-shirt, comfortable pants, and my t-shirt and comfortable pants would usually double as my pajamas. Sorry if that's gross, but you don't have a lot of space. So, gotta do what you gotta do. And then this was kind of a casual sweater for when I wanted to not be wearing athletic gear. Just a cute little dress, you know, in case I get invited to a gala or something. Or, you know, just to wander around. Not necessary, but it packs up real small bathing suit for casual swimming, or all you have to clean off in at the end of the day is a stream. Okay, toiletries kept in a Ziploc. I'm so classy. I mean, you know what toiletries you need. Toothpaste, toothbrush, deodorant, a little bit of mascara if you feel like being fancy one day. Spoiler alert, you're not gonna wanna be fancy most days. Cream, floss. A nail clipper. Um, oh, shampoo and conditioner in these handy little containers. Got a shampoo and conditioner that are organic and biodegradable. That way, if I do have to clean off in a stream, no creatures are going to be hurt. Also, a lot of those organic shampoos will double as kind of like body washes and general cleaners. So my shampoo was also my body wash, my clothing cleaner, pots and pans cleaner, just really cleaned all the things. First aid kit is key band-aids, gauze, alcohol swabs, waterproof tape, spray-on band-aid, antibiotic ointment. Luckily, I did not have to use any of this on this trip, but very important to have because if you get into some trouble and you're in a rural area, you want to be able to take care of yourself. Double EpiPens. Not everybody needs these, but if you do, come equipped. Sunscreen, important. Earplugs, I mask. Friends, I can't tell you how important these are. If you're in a hostel, put your earplugs in, put your eye mask on, and just disappear from the world for a moment. I cannot tell you the amount of times that I would wake up and somebody would be like, oh, did you hear that guy snoring all night? And I'd be like, no, no, I did not. Slept like a baby. Now look, if I'm wild camping, I don't wear these because I prefer to be alert to my surroundings. But if I'm in a safe place, my best friends. Locker, if you're planning to stay in hostels at all. Bear spray, never had to use it. I know it's topic up for debate. Some people say you shouldn't carry it, some whatever. I brought it, it made me feel safer when dogs were chasing me or when I was lying in my tent at night to know I at least had bear spray. I've actually heard that some people use air horns, which scares dogs, scares people, you know, good for all those things without the hazard of stuff getting in your eyes. So probably gonna switch over to that, um, but this is what I had for this trip. <sighs> we're getting through it guys, we're getting through it. Foldable backpack, really handy for when you get someplace and you wanna walk around and have all your stuff. It just kind of unpacks like that. And then all of a sudden you have a little backpack. How handy. I would also usually travel with a paper map. I use my phone for navigation and most things, but just in case my battery died or I didn't have signal, I usually traveled with a paper map as well. Chamois towel type thing. They're quick dry, compact, perfect. 
laundry bag, hand sanitizer. I'm not really a big fan of hand sanitizer, but in a pinch, it's good to have. All right, guys, let's get on to bike gear. A lock, and then having one of these as well to kind of hook tires and wheels and things together is always handy. This one actually attaches right onto my bike. It came with like a little clamp thing. Um, so you can get one of those. One last thing to carry in your bags, just saying. What was that face? <sighs> Tubes, um, they are pre-baby powdered to avoid sticking and bent tubes rebursting. CO2 cartridge and um, a CO2 inserty thing, the professional term. CO2 inflator pump, inflator pump. I also had a regular pump, but it fell off my bike. So this is what I have now. Chain lube and towel. That's really gross. It's been a long trip, guys. I need a new rag. Bike repair tool kit. Oh God. Key things I have in here are tape, uh, zip ties of varying sizes. You'd be amazed what you can fix with some zip ties. Puncture repair kit, multi tool, bike, tire, levers, backlight, front light. Whoa. Da, 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 da. This is 650 lumens. I got high lumens so that I have high visibility in case I happened to be biking at night in and needed to see the road. Obviously I try not to bike at night, but that's a nice backup. Bungee cord for, for just all the things. Strapping things to things all the time. Headlamp for reading and getting around campsites. And of course we have our trusty helmet. Okay, we're coming to the end of it, my friends. Portable charger. This one is from Anchor. It has three outlets. Once it's fully charged, it recharges my phone, I wanna say seven or eight full times, maybe more. I went like a whole week camping without recharging this and it just charged my phone every night. So it's heavy, but really, really good. GoPro, computer, laptop in a very safe, protective case. Backup hard drive, of course what I can't show you right now is my camera and microphone and tripod that are all filming this at the moment. And then all the cords. Little pro tip, I make these little tiny um, paper with tape over it that says what each thing is. So it'll say like rear light, front light, so that you're not searching through cords frantically. They're all labeled. Who doesn't love label making? And then for entertainment, we have a Kobo and pens and a journal so I can remember all the things I'm doing and headphones or I don't know listening to things this handy little device holds my money and passport and every day I would just wrap it around my waist under my clothes that way I had my most important documents and money with me and then last random thing is rags and plastic bags obviously not encouraging you to go out and buy plastic bags but I'm sure you or somebody you know has some around. And both of these things come in very handy. You will use rags to just clean up all of the things. Somehow things always get dirty. And bags because things always get dirty and you need to stick them in a bag. So those are really handy. Also large Ziploc bags are good to kind of separate all your items. So consider that for keeping things organized. If they don't have any holes in them, they can also compact and fit in your bags a little smaller. Whoa, friends, I think that is it. I think that is all my stuff. I hope you found this helpful. I'm gonna link anything that I mentioned more specifically down below so you can have a look at some of the products that I use. If you have any questions about anything I talked about today, just let me know in the comments below. And that's it for today, friends. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a like, it really supports my channel. If you wanna be notified whenever I put out new videos, hit subscribe and the little bell below. Thanks, have a good one.